If you've ever used static routes to define how traffic should move between private networks, then you probably know how vulnerable it is to things like component failures, or the wind, or squirrels. In this episode of Cloud Networking, I'll show you how to leverage Cloud Router to create dynamic routing and not have to worry about cute, fuzzy networking hazards. Imagine you have a VPC setup with multiple VMs in a subnet. Each VM's traffic is directed through static routes to a cloud VPN gateway, encrypting traffic to and from your on-premise network. This is fine, as long as your on-prem network has a firewall and router, which know how to send traffic to your cloud VPN gateway. Now, what happens if you have two networks on-premise? This would require you to manually add static routes in Google Cloud that expand each VM's routing table to include new network paths on-premise. And you need to reconfigure your VPN on both ends, which causes it to drop and reestablish. This isn't exactly fun, especially for larger organizations who turn up new testing networks several times a week or more. Static routes in this case can be painful for a number of reasons. A topology change on either network requires you to manually update static routes. Also, static routes can't automatically reroute traffic if a link fails. What we want is a solution where our networks can automatically and rapidly discover topology changes and then route traffic accordingly so our users don't sense disruptions. This is exactly what dynamic routing does, which Google Cloud Platform offers as Cloud Router. Now, if a link fails, Cloud Router can automatically reroute traffic if another path is possible. It works like this. When you extend your on-prem network to Google Cloud, Cloud Router peers with your on-prem VPN gateway or router. The routers exchange topology information through Border Gateway Protocol, BGP. Cloud Router advertises subnets from its VPC network to the on-premise gateway via BGP. Then topology changes automatically propagate between your VPC and on-prem network. A great side effect can be lower latency because Cloud Router learns the on-premise routes through BGP and lets the network infrastructure pick the best route to reach the destination. If you're using Cloud Router with VPN, it frees you from management headache for a number of reasons. You don't need to statically manage subnets, like adding and removing static routes for your VPN. It scales with your traffic because it's not a physical device that might cause a bottleneck. And the BGP session informs each router of local changes, meaning any new subnets you add are seamlessly advertised between networks. No downtime or manual changes to routing tables. Let's walk through Cloud Router setup. If you remember from my last episode, I had a static route VPN setup. Let's create a dynamic router for this VPN setup in US East by going to the Cloud Router page. Here, I'll give it a name. Select the VPC network that contains the instances that you want to reach. Choose the region where you want to locate the Cloud Router. It advertises all subnets in the region where it's located. Pick a Google ASN you're not using anywhere else in your network. An ASN uniquely identifies each network on the internet for BGP sessions. Choose whether to advertise all subnets visible to the Cloud Router or create custom routes. Next, you can add a tunnel to each VPN gateway and establish BGP sessions between the two cloud routers or with your on-premise router, which you can check out in the documentation below. Cloud Router is the orchestral conductor for traffic between your on-prem and the cloud, like when using VPN and Cloud Interconnect. It helps a growing network continue to function in the face of failures and other furry rodents to support scalability and adaptability. Stay tuned for more, and remember, Optimizing your network means freeing up your bandwidth. <laughs>